Okay, bang, nine, four Shotgun Oigo, tawiro Aido Hanen nom, arinikan Follow me Mechi, yanjo, yo Marachi, garato, nukimi wa Mori, puzo, ba, kukashi da Nonu, mechi, yanjo, yo Nano, nubo, yo And then next came BTS, which for BTS slash Vix performances, because we didn't know who was performing, like they didn't give us the lineup for the Gaon chat hours. That was one problem that I had, so we didn't know who was performing when. So I wasn't really sure who was gonna come. Was it Vix? Was it BTS? At first I thought it was BTS before I found out it was Vix. But then BTS came and I thought they were gonna perform Butterfly because there were butterflies everywhere and I was ready, ready to start singing Butterfly. And then they broke out and I need you go. And then I lost my senses because they were telling me they need me. <laughs> but yeah, they performed I Need You and then they performed Dope! And that was really, really like they killed it. Like I said in my reaction, if Big Bang did not perform after them, they would have been my best performance of the night because everyone else just didn't reach the level that BTS reached, okay? They made the night before Big Bang came and completed the night. So yeah. And then next was the PD Award, which I wasn't really paying attention, so I really, I'm not sure who it was given to but if i find out who it was i'll write it down below and then the next was the most popular artist of this year which went to so chen hui and the artist of fans favorite like the fan favorite um artist of the year went to exo it was a vote so fans voted and there was also a whole issue with big bang and chinese fans um uh, trying to manipulate and hack the votes and give all the votes to Big Bang. I don't know why Chinese fans keep doing this. This is the second time this has happened. Y'all are making a bad reputation for VIPs. Just stop doing it. We all know VIPs are a lazy fandom. We could win if we want to vote, but we are too lazy to vote. I have to admit, I am a VIP, but I didn't vote. I didn't even know they were voting for anything till the whole scandal of the hacking the account came out so yeah that just VIPs are a lazy fandom it's a known fact but EXO won so congratulations to EXO and I was I know after EXO won I kept thinking hold up is this all EXO came to do literally for Sehun to receive the Weibo award and for them to receive this award and that's it that's what they all came for just to receive those two awards seriously that that's all you're not gonna perform nothing you're not gonna get any other awards so i was really happy when that got to change later but we'll come to that and then next girlfriend came and they performed migos <laughs>
like I said, I have never listened to Girlfriend, but I actually liked this performance and it's really hard for me to get into girl group stages. I don't know why, except you're 21, I don't get into girl group stages. It's really hard for me to get into girl group stages. Exactly. So G-Friend came and they performed me Gusta. And then after that, which was really nice, and then after that, So Chen Hui came and she performed Tears, which was also beautiful. And then the producer of the year award went to Papa YG, which y'all may say whatever you want to say, but... I have to agree with this award, okay? Of all the K-pop songs that have come out this year, all the songs Papa YG has, like, all the songs from YG that Papa YG has had a hand in have been... That's my personal preference now, but they've been better than all the other songs that I've had. So he definitely, definitely did deserve the award. And they did this mini history of when he was in Soteji and now he has accomplished creating YG family and ETC and ETC. And um, Big Bang and Icon came on stage to collect the award. The award and Sungri, who is really good at imitating Papa YG, imitated him. <laughs> And then he, he talked about how Papa YG was basically not doing anything because the other people were the ones doing all the work. <laughs> well, he was like the spoon. There's a way he phrased it. If I find the translation, I think I retweeted it. I'll find the translation and put it up here so you read it and understand it. But it was really funny though. And then after he gave his whole imitation of Papa YG, he called GD on to give the speech. And then GD came and he said he's asserting this not only for YG, but it's also for him and like everyone who wants to be a producer. It's a big award and a big deal for producers' work to be recognized and ETC and ETC, which is really, really nice and touching. And then after that, the artist of the year in terms of album for the first quarter came and the winner was EXO. <laughs> EXO won the award and I'm like, oh, because huh. they can't just have come for just those two, no offense, but those awards were really little to me. I expected them to win something bigger. So I was really excited for them actually when they won the first quarter album of the year award. And we all know their physical sales are really, really good. So that was not shocking that they won in the physical and Big Bang won in the digitals. So for the second quarter, it was also EXO that won again. And then next EXO came and they performed Exodus, um, Call Me Baby, and Love Me Right Now. <laughs>
and Big Bang were the only two groups that performed three songs. Every other person performed two songs. Either the first song would be a minute long and then the other songs would be the full song or maybe two minutes long of the song but only those two groups the big winners of the night were the ones who were able to perform three songs which <laughs> I'll come into something that happened but yeah that was really really nice though it was like a way to um, show them it was like a gift to them for being the biggest of the night which was really nice and sweet and then after EXO I just like how Anyway, we'll come to all this later. But then after EXO, Big Bang came and then they performed Bay Bay and then they performed Bam Bam Bang and then they performed We Like to Party. Big Bang! I'm loud through the count, got your shots, baby. How we should talk and kid by shots, baby. Sign up, got chance, I got Jesus, baby. And I was ready for the night to be over. I was ready to go to bed and be done. Okay. I'm like, this was why I was awake. I don't think I want to watch this anymore. Like, after we liked to party, it felt like the event had ended. Why, what was the use of me still watching this? Because Big Bang always literally ends the show and they ended in a mighty way and i was expecting that random fantastic baby to break out but hallelujah it did not break out even though i am gonna confess this but i'm beginning to miss fantastic baby in events <laughs> 
Next, um, was Artist of the Year album for the third quarter and for the fourth quarter. For the third quarter, Suju won, which was surprising, but I was really happy for them because it shows that even though EXO is now like the most popular in SM, Suju still hold their own. So I was really, really happy for them. And it was Little Kang In and Ye Song that came to collect the award. And Kang In and um, um, <laughs> And um, what's his name? Singri from Big Bang had their moment during the baby performance, which was just absolutely hilarious. But Big Bang's performance was definitely nice. It made the whole night for me. You'd see it in my reaction. They definitely killed it in their performance. So that was really, really nice to see. And then Artist of the Fourth Quarter went to EXO. So the night ended with EXO, and that was the end of the Gawon Awards. I really did like the whole setup of this award. I like even though I didn't like that we didn't know who was performing like the lineup but it added a certain anticipation and like excitement to the whole thing because you really don't know who is performing so that made it really exciting and then another thing I like is how they grouped the performance the hip-hop people performed together the two big acts performed together the traditional people performed together the elderly performed together it was just really really nice the rookies together Everything was just really, really well organized. I, Mama needs to take like serious lessons from that. At one point, I'm like, I don't think I ever want to watch a Mama Award again. The only reason I probably watch Mama Awards is because of YG artists, but Gawun Awards is the place to be. Like, if you want to stay awake for an award, stay awake for Gawun Awards because it was so organized, timely. They ended at the right time. Everything was just. Mm, to the T, rightly done. Every all your T's were crossed correctly. It was all done really well. The whole organization was really done well. So I really, really liked the Gaon Award for that. And then another thing I like it for was the fairness. In terms of mama is basically you come and then you get award if you don't show up you don't get an award but in this is basically everyone who chatted the best in the whole chat of the country and all and it was really fair because everyone could have seen previously who chatted the most that month because they always released rankings for the end of the month so we always knew who was the best for the end of the month and then so when this award comes if you give it to someone else we'll know you played dirty because hey this was the group that was the best ranking for that month how come is this person that's getting it so everything was played fairly it's just like some little little things that I wanted my own favorite to win and they didn't win but I didn't have a problem with the other groups winning either I was happy for them I just especially twice I would just have loved if twice had won at least one award that was my only issue with the whole award ceremony because they're still chatting in the chats right now like twice is still chatting in the chats right now which is a really great fit for a rookie group so yeah um, overall it was a great performance my best 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 three performances of the night number one was obviously Big Dang number two was BTS and number Number three was Vix. They definitely, those three definitely made my night. I wanted Monster X to come because Monster X also always kills it with your stages. But we did not have a Monster X performance. But that was okay though. They didn't even attend the award. But that was okay. I liked Red Velvet stage too. That was really, really nice. And like I said, BOP, BAP stage was okay. But I expected more. So yeah, overall, it was a great award show. I'm really glad I stayed awake because I was contemplating staying awake. Should I stay awake or should I sleep? Because I have the, I had a long day and I had only two hours of sleep before the award. I had to stay awake because I didn't trust myself to um, be awake throughout and all that. But I attended. Now I'm going to edit this. And then after that, I'm going to go have my beauty sleep because I have a long day tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I hope I made it a little bit fun for you. I hope you enjoy my reactions. See you in the reaction videos. Keep being awesome, beautiful people you are. From me to you all, you have this number. Love for you all.